I'm going to show you how you can find all your passwords with software and without. You can find it in your browsers. If whatever browser you have, just simply open it up. I already have these open and there's a couple places for software that I will put the links below in this video. Okay, let's start with Google Chrome. Click right here on the three bars. That's really considered tools. It used to, a few years ago, it was a little wrench set showed there. Click there and then click settings. Now if you're not signed in to, to your Google Chrome, it's a good idea to sign in. It keeps track of your bookmarks. You can even access them if you go to somebody else's house. If you're, if you're not signed in, it'll say sign in right there and then you can go advanced sync and and this will automatically be set to sync everything or you can set it on choose what to sync and then pick whatever you want I just chose bookmarks and apps okay and then click OK and then it, that's what will show up in your bookmarks right here okay to find your passwords you scroll down to the bottom and click show advanced settings and then you scroll a little further and watch real close because it's pretty small wording passwords and forums and then click manage passwords now if you have whenever you sign in to something it always asks you do you want it to save well this is where they'll be if you chose to save them and even if you haven't there'll be some here now I just created a gmail account just for this video that's the only way I can do it without revealing all my passwords everything because I got a lot of passwords to see all of them if they're not in here you just click right here notice it says password.google.com you can type that in your browser and sign in with your your Google account which is Gmail Google Drive you know they're all one account or you can just click here and then again it'll ask you to sign in and then it'll show you all the passwords that were for every site that was ever signed into using Google Chrome. Unless, unless you use some kind of utility like uh, Norton, Norton Utilities, that will remove it. Um, I think there's a couple other ones. CCleaner, I think it removes it. So you might not get as lucky that way. But I'm going to continue on and show you, okay? that's Google Chrome here's Firefox I'm going to leave that open and open this browser on top of it now this is Firefox same thing here you click on the tools and then this time click on options this is for Firefox now for sync this is where you would sign in and I'm already signed in that's why it says disconnect and down here is what you choose what to sync right there I just I just got bookmarks and passwords on this one but to find your passwords you click security and right here click on saved logins and this is all my logins minus the passwords alright then you can click show passwords and for Google Chrome and for this site you might want to look around you and see who's looking at your screen because it'll show you all the passwords and the email addresses that were signed in and yes it'll even show your kids email addresses and passwords to all their sites so what you do with that password you, it's that you're on your own <laughs> be careful so rather than show all my passwords I'm just gonna click no but it's just a flash it will show you all your passwords to every site and the only reason why I don't have a bunch is because I just a little while ago created a fake Gmail account for this video okay that's how you find it for your browsers I'm gonna close Firefox get back to Google Chrome the next step would be if you choose and I got a video on all about this site all this stuff is free you, um, social password decrypt, decryptor as you can see here it'll find uh, remover password possible social networks Facebook Twitter Google ATC a lot of other ones or you can go to tools and click 
password tools and it'll show you all your browsers um, all, all your even your your uh, router or your your, your router has, but always pick the ones that encrypt or like I said I'll put the video I'll link it to this I'll put it about right down here somewhere like right now <laughs> okay and uh, here's your Google password decryptor anything you sign into Google there's iTunes um, MySpace it goes on and on and on Skype is on here your social password decryptor that shows all your social networks like Facebook and them on oh, there was Skype I just seen it Skype password this one says recovery the other video I'll show you that you'll see it will explain all of it okay now this here is surefire I mean I live by this I've had it for like three years go to lastpass.com I'll put the link below this video click get lastpass free add extension and then you just wait takes a little bit for it to load in. But I've already signed in and had it loaded so as you can see it's already there. It might not even ask me to sign in. But from this point on you get one master password. One. One, like that's why it's called LastPass. The last password you'll ever need to know. You can go to a friend's house and sign into this right here just go to this site and sign in without even installing it on their computer click login and then click right here login using one time password unless you're on your other computer you can install it on that your email address and your master password you used and it'll show you all your sites and then as soon as you close this page it'll all be erased from their computer so they'll never be able to see it or you can scroll down here which I would advise and all the way to the bottom where you see support click on screencasts and it'll show you videos exactly how to use it really nice videos too it's really detailed real easy to understand this one here getting started with LastPass very good one to watch and once you do get it whoops wrong one and then you can after you're signed in it'll say see my vault well you can click on your vault and you can check and see every email address that you have everything that you've ever signed into whenever you sign into like even Facebook everything that you sign into as long as you signed into this one right here it'll ask you do you want LastPass to save your password and it'll never ask you again until you sign into another till it sees that you're signing into another place like I said, you can watch these videos. Just scroll down to the bottom and click screencasts. Alright. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that helps. This last pass will round up every password that was ever signed to on this computer, no matter what browser, no matter what you signed into. It'll find it because it's all, all that data is on your computer unless you use some kind of utility that might erase it. Alright, thanks for watching and please subscribe.